All right, hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm going to call this Web Developer Secrets. It's a series of videos that I'm going to uh, produce and put here on YouTube, talking about different secrets as a web developer, uh, how to actually, uh, I guess, get a job, how to, how to do, basically, how to be successful and all the things that pertain to it. So this first video, I'm going to talk about mindset. Um, not mindset really, but it's really just focus on like what direction you should take as a developer, um, how you should be thinking as a developer. Um, if you're sort of like kind of coming from like uh, a position of you kind of want to switch careers, uh, you kind of want to just kind of get into the industry and get things going. You kind of like say, if you're familiar with computers, you want to learn how to code, you want to get a job in code, you want to make it to the six figure salary and everything. Um, that's kind of the same path that I'm on. I'm on. I haven't made it to the six-figure path yet, but I'm actually. I've been freelancing for a while, and I've talked with a lot of different actual companies, and they have paid me for web development. Um, you know, I've read somewhere that uh, you really can't call yourself something until you actually have paid your bills with that particular thing, and um, you know, I'm certainly not rich by any means but i have definitely paid bills with money i've got from web development um you know so if that, that that's something that's interested uh, that you're interested in so definitely take a, you know take a listen to the video because i can have some very interesting things to say um so yeah without do let's get into the short video uh so let's talk about when you come into like, like a web developer industry or whatever you got to focus on like building yourself up as a developer because let's say if you start off you're not going to automatically go get a six-figure job working as a blockchain developer or a python you kind of got to build yourself to those things uh you can build yourself to those things like with like a wordpress if you want to start off like a like working with digital agencies uh you can start off with that and you really got to think about it in a way that when you look at job postings you got to look at what technology stacks are they asking for and you really kind of got to check those boxes off so as you study and you go and actually develop that path as a developer just really think about that you know am i, am I on a wordpress path am i on a php larva path or am I on a JavaScript path? And that really is determined by your area that you live in. So if you go and look at jobs in your specific area, you may have your area, they may be hiring for a lot of WordPress jobs, which I think is universal. Or they'd be hiring for a lot of uh, React jobs or Angular jobs with job, JavaScript frameworks. Um, or they can be having some Node.js, right? You really got to pay attention and look at that specific to your area and just check those boxes off as you go, as you study. Of course, first, you learn your basics, your HTML, your CSS, and your JavaScript. Then you start picking up different frameworks, all right? So that's just pretty much uh, the first tip, I guess I'll just want to talk about. And... Uh, I don't know, this would be a short little playlist of videos of different tips um, that you can actually gain as trying to get a job into the industry. Uh, again, I've been freelancing for a while. Uh, you know, I'm pretty much about to get hired as a full-time, you know, uh, developer. Um, pretty much doing like a test project, if you will. And uh, if, this, if this thing goes well, I could definitely be looking at a full-time role, which I'm excited about. So uh, that's pretty much it in today's video. See you next one.